Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I'm going to test out the leaked Android 4.3 build on my Nexus 4. Let's get to it. Alright, so this uh, leaked I think it was yesterday or actually the day before and uh, when it first came out I kind of did a, a quick and dirty flash over my Sanja Mod 10.1 so um, that means I only did the uh, cache and the Dalvik cache wipe. Um, but for this video, I thought I'd show you what it'd be like if you did everything properly. So I wiped everything, and I've gone to 4.3. So, and I've, just before I turned the camera on, I did the setup and everything. So this is actually as it is out of the box. I have not it, let it download any apps. I've just updated the ones that were there. So instead of having talk, it's now Hangouts and blah, 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 blah. But this is actually really cool. I'm 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 liking 4.3. I've got a couple of notes here with a few pros and cons and like the differences of uh, 4.3 versus 4.2. But I think the main one anyone with the Nexus 4 has ever actually like felt is the touch response was never one to one on a Nexus 4, and on this it gets it a lot closer. Um, there's a new display driver. And so this has always been the benchmark of like how like fast an Android phone is. You can just like squat through the app really fast. Which is really difficult when you're like on a table trying not to rock the, the camera and anything. And like that would lag in 4.2. You'd be able to like you'd miss it. Small swipes and gestures would be interpreted as taps and but it's just overall it's been t it's been tightened up a lot in like I'm 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 actually barely touching the screen here. And you can just see how fast it is. I said, there's like one little glitch there. It's the first time it's happened since I've been running this. Um, so yeah, on the Nexus 4, it's a massive, like the touch sensitivity has been improved. Things, um, I'm trying to find a photo here. Look, here's a, f no, it's a video. Uh, there's got to be a photo of my kitten on here somewhere. Uh, there you go. Uh, the pinch to zoom hasn't really been in, improved, but that's actually more of a hardware issue. Pe mo most people forget about this. Um, the LG Nexus 4, the Optimus G, and like the iPhone 5, actually, all they're all first generation in cell touch um, screens. And basically, it's a very fancy way of saying um, the touch sensor is built into the, the glass. It's completely integrated, which means it can get thinner and blah, 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 blah. The problem is there is decreased sensitivity, so... That's like the pinch to zoom thing. Yeah, that's not going to be fixed with the software update because that's a hardware issue. Uh, next, uh, if I show you, there's nothing actually running here. If I quickly go into settings, I can show you that the uh, RAM usage in Android has decreased rapidly. I mean, this is ridiculous. I, if I bring it up to the camera here, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It won't focus. That's using 440 megs of RAM. So. That, that's actually ridiculous, whereas on 4.2, my Nexus 4, with nothing open, usually had between 8 and 900 megs being used. So, that RAM usage is j just ridiculous. Um, next, battery life, I mean, oh, sorry about that guys. Uh, battery life, at least for me, was actually kind of good. Uh, this is a quick, like I said, the first one was a quick and dirty flash, so I'm not sure if it was just me, but it was a bit... Yeah, it was very similar, but I'll try it again and I'll, I'll tell you some more things. Um, I've got to go guys, my camera's about to die. I will come back soon. Sorry about the issues there guys, my camera died. Um, so I'm not going to lie to you, I just totally forgot where I was on my notes, so I'm going to go from battery life. Now like I said, battery life seems to be very comparable to uh, 4.2.2, but I'm not sure if it... If Blah blah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's because I, like I said, I did, I did a quick and dirty flash over my my last build, so it's probably going to be either a bit better or a bit worse. Um, now that nope, what was I going to say? <laughs> now I've now I've cleared all the data and the caches and everything. Uh, battery life should be a bit better, but it, like I said, it was incredibly comparable to 4.2, probably even a little bit better. Um, I've heard that this build of 4.3 has a weight lock issue. I personally haven't experienced that, but um, like I said, it to me anyway, it seems fine. 
Uh, let's go to a couple of not so great things about 4.3. Uh, Google still haven't properly calibrated the display on the Nexus 4, and it it can it, it seriously pisses me off. I could I could use the stock kernel for power requirements over, say, faux kernel or Franco kernel, but I could not live with this because uh, I could not live with this because of the the color the screen it's just so bad like the blacks look like light gray not even dark gray so uh, it gets hot for some reason again this is a leaked build it is in no way the shipping build we don't know yet but uh, just uh, so from where the headphone jack is to like top of the nexus part this part of the phone seems to get incredibly hot not not doing anything incredibly intensive taking a couple of photos just browsing Instagram this uh, it will get quite hot not enough to make me worry but it was definitely something I noticed more than on uh, 4.2.2 uh, and last but not least I learned this the hard way if you do a quick and dirty flash like I said certain things will not work uh, for me the clock kept crashing uh, I could not open the dialer on when I just flash it. Now it opens fine, I couldn't open it at all before. The only way I could dial um, contacts was to go to the people app and hope they were in there. Um, but not that's not really a lot different to be honest. Uh, a couple things have changed like Google Keep is now a system app. It's still updated in the Play Store but it's now included on the phone by default. Uh, you still cannot get rid of play mu playbooks, music, magazine and movies, you can disable them, but you can't actually get rid of them. Same with Google Earth and Currents. Um, also, root. Root on this is incredibly difficult. It was an incredibly convoluted thing to try and get this working, and I'm not even sure. Yeah, see, I still didn't get it working. So I'm just kind of giving up, and probably I'm probably going to go back to Sanjimod 10.1 after this, um, just to wait until the official announcement. But like I said, guys, this was Sanjimod. No, this is not Sanjimod. Yeah, this is Android 4.3, uh, and to prove it to you, I'm going to quickly run down here to the about phone. There you go, Nexus 4, Android 4.3, there you go, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. And yes, Bean Slinger is still here and smoother than ever. Project Butter is in tow. Google Now, still here. Again, faster than ever. I can switch to my cards. Uh, little things, there you go, that's a bit of a weird thing there. Um, jumping in and out of folders, jumping in and out of the menu, jumping in and out of apps themselves, it's just a lot faster and a lot snappier on this than it was on 4.2. Um, yeah, new in the <coughs> 4.3 build is a new camera, so it looks, oh, it looks pretty similar from here tap there to get your menu is now gone is the radial menu where you tap it and it goes in a circle around your fin finger uh, this I think is a bit odd if you still uh, it will come up and it's kind of you you go up this way and it's personally I don't like this you can still tap to focus and then you take the photo and then the photo goes up there you can either tap on it or you can just slide still I personally am not a fan of this new radial menu. I prefer the old one where the everything was in with a thumb reach because I knew where everything was probably but hey ho. I'll get used to it. I'm a Nexus. I, I've got a Nexus. I still have Photosphere. Um, that's about it really guys. <laughs> uh, there's a couple things. There's an updated Play Store app. I think it's 4.2.7 or 4.2.3. Let's have a quick check here. Um, 4.2.3. So there's an uh, update build there. I'm not. I I haven't seen any like user facing changes, but uh, there's probably just some back end stuff. So like I said, guys, this was Android 4.3 on the Google Nexus 4. You can get me on the website, which is www.mobile-dom.co.uk. You can get me on Twitter, which is twittercom mobile underscore dom You can circle me on Google Plus, which is g+.to/dominico-lamberti. And last but not least, if you want a consultation for a phone, you can email me. The email is domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. Until next time, guys, toodle pip.